Hello everybody and thanks for tuning in to our channel. Hope you watched the other part of the video. I got a couple today we're going to do on our 1971 Chevelle. I got it back from the machine shop slash speed shop and he recommended to do this or he wanted to do it. If he did it, it would cost me millions of dollars. We can do this stuff ourselves for little to next to nothing as long as you have the time and basic skills. These are very easy. So in the first part we worked on the heater core fix. Now we have heat inside the car. Now we're going to work on a PCV problem which he explained to me and I'll explain to you as we get a little bit closer. Say hi to Ariel. He's helping out again. Okay, so here we are. We got this car right here. He explained it to me with the new rear end gear of 411. He stated it's going to be run a lot harder and higher RPMs all through the entire cruising and driving range, which is true. So we got a little breather back there on the air cleaner, and we also got this breather here. He said that because we do not have a PVC hooked up, it's going to push oil out through one of these breathers just due to the atmospheric pressure. And if you look, it does have some oil on it, and I don't want to take a chance of blowing up the motor. So what we're going to do today is we're going to install a PCV valve with a couple basic parts. You can get any parts store. Here's the PCV valve and a little grommet transfer kit right here. So we're going to get started and we're going to do this in real time. So Ariel's going to jump on it. We're going to go on the front driver's side, pull this breather off, which is very simple. Is. Put it off to the side. Take a pair of needle nose pliers, grab it, pull the grommet out, put it off to the side because that grommet fits this particular breather right here. We're going to use this Mr. Gasket valve cover. He's going to drop in there, the smaller one. I'm going to push him right in. That's it. Now he's in already. That easy. We have the generic uh, PCV valve from any small block Chevy. As soon as we get out of the box, I'll show you. Yes. Yep, we're going to push it in. A little bit of wiggle juice. We got yes. that set up. We have three feet of 3 8 inch hose which we're going to hook up to on the PCV valve. A little bit of wiggling it goes on and it's going to go to right here which is our Holly I should say Summit Racing 750 because we took the Holly 600 off. It plugs in right here which they tell you in the directions Ariel's going to cut it for you. Be careful, that's very sharp. Okay, he cut it. Okay, looking good. Almost got it. It'll help if we have a sharper knife next time. There it is. Bam. You got it. Take the axis. Put the axis off to the side we're not going to use. Take that right there, push it onto the carburetor. And bam! Simple. Very simple. Less than four minutes. A couple easy parts. It might cost you $15 to get it done. You pay your mechanic to do it.